Hello friends, welcome to this channel. So, today in this session, we are going to discuss about sanity testing. Usually, sanity testing and smoke testing are quite confusing topics in software testing industry. But when you have clarity as when each of these apply, in what scenario you apply this testing and you will be good. So, let's start this session. What is sanity testing? So, sanity testing is a quick regression test with focus on few impacted functionality only. So, I would suggest you remember the keyword few functionality here. So, it's a quick check to make sure that the impacted functionalities are working as expected. So, when do you know that? So, whenever you have any code deployed to QA and you know that that particular functionality is actually impacting some other module in your application, you would perform regression testing. But I am saying quick regression testing. So it is just a quick look to make sure that impacted functionalities are working as expected. So generally, this is the net testing is undocumented so this is just a quick check to make sure that you know you can get started with you with your regression and you can go ahead with your actual testing when everything looks to you so you know what is it all about now let's see when is this applied so when do you have a code deployment so whenever there is a new functionality that is being added and whenever there is a defect fix you will have code deployed to QA when you know that either this enhancement or a defect fix is actually impacting any other model of your application that's when you perform a quick look that is called sanity testing so you remember quick regression test here and also impacted functionalities keywords here and when do you do this this is whenever there is an enhancement or a defect fix deployed to QA that is impacting other functionalities why do you do this the quick check is done to make sure that you know you know something that is not getting screwed up just because they have added some part of the code which is impacting these modules so if you determine something in the initial phase it will avoid a lot of your time that's why sanity is a quick check on few impacted modules to make sure that the code deployed as an enhancement or a defect fix to qa is not QA is not impacting any of the existing functionalities. Now we know what, when and why. So let's put everything here. So this is a subset here. So this a subset of your regression testing. It's not your actual testing but uh, it's an undocumented quick test to make sure everything is working. Mainly the impacted module are working as expected so this is important because it saves a lot of time and also help us to identify with that we can get started with our actually actual test case execution or not if something is not correct immediately you can alert your developer and stop it right there so the focus is mainly on impacted functionalities i am focusing mainly on this term because this is the only term which is making a huge difference with that smoke testing so smoke testing never combined this together because smoke testing is end-to-end -end testing and their focus is mainly on critical functionalities of your application but sanity testing focuses only on impacted functionalities that are the functionalities that are impacted due to the code deployed to QA. So this is specific to few functionalities. This is not end to end at all also. 
remember this term impacted functionalities here so guys that's it for this session i hope you all guys are now clear with this topic if you have any doubt or any question feel free to ask in the comment section below i will answer you as soon as i can thank you for watching bye and have a nice day